European Union on Sunday broke off talks with the Ukraine on the far-reaching trade deal that protesters here have been demanding for weeks, and a top official issued a stinging, angry statement, all but accusing Ukraine's president of dissembling. The bloc's enlargement chief, Stefan Fuhl, wrote on Twitter that the words and actions of President Viktor Yanukovych were growing further and further apart, even as the Ukrainian crisis was showing signs of deepening. On Sunday, about 100,000 protesters clogged a main plaza and surrounding streets, rivaling earlier weekend rallies in size. Now, today, The Guardian is reporting that we should welcome Ukraine into the EU and restore faith in the European project. <laughs> nice one. I'll tell that to the poor folks in Greece, Spain and Portugal. Know that just as soon as the Ukrainian president hands over sovereignty of his country to the EU, their troubles will be over. The population of the Ukraine is 45 million people. And I find it fascinating that the Western press is so focused on the protesters. 100,000 protesters constitutes 0.2% of the population. It matters not how much they burn and smash up Kiev, they still represent a minority group. Now, from our standpoint, we feel that their president is doing them a favour by retaining their sovereign rights to self-determination. Of course, the picture is completely different from Russia, who have also been looking to draw the Ukraine into the Eurasian Union. All these unions of different countries, transatlantic and transpacific partnerships, <laughs> anyone would think there was some sort of agenda for a new world order.